It's strange. I can hear birds off in the distance and at the same time, there's a storm brewing. Now for today's grim adventure, we find ourselves in the Natchez City Cemetery in Natchez, Mississippi, just off the banks of the Mississippi River. And the reason we're here in this beautiful cemetery is the grave of a 10 year old girl who died in 1871 by the name of Florence Irene Ford. This is beautiful. Look at these trees. So what makes the grave of Florence Irene special? Well, in life, the 10 years that she was alive, she was absolutely terrified of storms. And living next to the Mississippi River, storms would often roll through. Now, in life, her mother would always comfort her. And whenever she died in 1871 from the yellow fever, her mom was very distraught. So when it came time to bury her little girl, she actually had these steps installed next to the grave that went six feet down. Now, her mother also had a little window, a little pane of glass installed at the head of her daughter's grave. So she can climb down these stairs, look in and comfort her daughter whenever storms would come through. That's why we're here today. It sounds like what you're saying is what makes this little girl's grave so special is really her mother's love. And that's beautiful. Wherever I come, I've had luck. It's come my way. Wherever I go, hard luck. His daddy stays. Good luck never stays a day. A bad luck's always a coming my way. Now driving up upon the cemetery, we got so excited about the tree-lined road that we forgot to show the cemetery gates. Very simple, but still freaking beautiful. There's a plaque that says this property has been placed on the National Register of Historic Places by the United States Department of the Interior. It's a big cemetery. We got uh, some pretty, uh, <laughs> hefty cemetery safari to do. This place is something else though, right? What's really cool, how old do you think this stone is? It looks so clean and like new, right? Yeah. It's from 1841. It's nuts. Yeah. It's just a nice little stroll through the cemetery. So our mausoleum, however big we build it, oh, hear that echo? We need to have a gate like, well, not necessarily like this one, it'll look a little bit different, but. I love the echo. Echo! It's not raining yet, but I swear I can feel drops every now and then. But it really wasn't hard to find this. I mean, a little driving around, but we found it pretty easily. And surprisingly, there's a marker here, marker number 13, because there's a walking tour inside the cemetery. So how crazy is it that this interesting grave is number 13 on the tour and Jessica's looking down the steps right now and I'm gonna go ahead and walk her over to the front of the to the grave let me rest right here pretty wild huh Now, of course, I'll show the steps in just a minute, but I do want to take the time to read her tombstone. 
It's amazing that you can still read it after all this time. Sacred to the memory of Florence Irene, daughter of Washington and Ellen H. Ford. Born September 3rd, 1861 and died October 30th, 1871. There's a little quote, it says, as bright and, aff and affectionate a daughter as ever, God with his image blessed. That's nice. And then people have been coming by and just leaving. There's a ring and some pennies. And directly behind the tombstone are the steps. Look at that. It's peaceful. I'll tell you what though, if I heard a little girl crying because a storm is coming, I'd drop the camera and I'd probably run. As much as I love spooky stuff, little kids, ghost kids, no, no thank you. I'm not gonna lie, part of me wanted to get inside and shut the doors, but these things are heavy. How on earth would somebody get down there? Like a grieving mother. This is, this is heavy. Jessica's gonna leave some coins in the angel before she heads down to see Florence. Wow, that's a big step. Right? So it goes down there six feet. You back up a little bit. Right? Well, for the most part, Florence's grave has remained virtually untouched. Although at some point, everything that we read, obviously there's no, no window down there. It's been bricked up. Supposedly that happened sometime in the 1950s to try to deter any kind of vandalism. So I'm sure they had some sort of problem. So you can see those toys are actually sitting on top of a brick wall, so to speak. It's created like a little bit of a shelf. Here's a closer look at some of the toys that are on the shelf. There's even some candy there. But to me, the cutest and at the same time, the saddest offering left here is what's at the base of the stairs. These two teddy bears. There's even a few little stuffed animals on the steps. It's cute, but sad. And on the back of her stone, there's another poem, if you will. It says, oh, weep not my parents, no longer repine. Yes. For in beauty transcendent, your daughter doth shine. But dry up your tears and prepare soon to come to join in the praises of the father and son. This is definitely one of those tombstones that you read about, that you see online. And you never imagine that you're gonna to go to a place like this. And then one day you find yourself in the same neck of woods and you're like, side quest. And then here you are. It's actually quite beautiful that Florence's mother would come and spend storms next to her daughter, knowing that in life, while alive, her daughter was terrified of these storms, and then she would come and con console her even after death. I'm curious why her parents aren't buried here with her. This is the family plot as noted on the iron gate here. And you see the family plot names of other families in this row with their name on the gate, but she's the only one buried here. Where are her parents, I wonder? 
you might be hearing what sounds like a drill. Halfway through shooting our video, some grave diggers showed up. But that's okay. Because we got to visit Florence, got to pay our respects, walk the stairs on a, on a stormy day. And now we're gonna go check out the rest of the cemetery. Because this is, this is beautiful. I don't remember the last time that we were actually in a Mississippi cemetery. Look at this over here. Never, I don't think. Possibly not. Now this is quite nice. Standing up here on the hill overlooking a part of the cemetery, you can see that, that white mansion off in the distance. The grave of 10-year-old Florence isn't the only famous grave in this cemetery. What you're looking at right now, the statue is known as the Turning Statue. And people who have lived in this town or have passed by throughout the years have all reported driving by at night and seeing this statue turn and watch them drive by. Kind of haunting, right? Well, the real story as to why this statue is here is even more haunting than that. Resting at the base of the statue are five stones, five tombstones that look almost identical. Different names, different ages, but the death dates are all the same. March 14th, 1908. March 14th, 1908 in the town of Natchez, where this cemetery obviously is, there was a, an explosion, a massive explosion in the Natchez Drug Company, killing these five women, and they're buried here underneath this haunting statue. Out of the five girls that died, the oldest is 22, and the youngest is 12 years and 11 months. Now, I know it's not nighttime, but I've been standing in front of this statue for probably, I don't know, about an hour now. Watching as the cars pass by to see if this statue, the turning statue, moves even just an inch. Nothing. It'd be cool though, right? Now, sadly, a couple years ago, somebody came out here and pushed the turning statue over, and you can actually see a crack where the, the, the right wing broke off. They mended it and put it back up here. It's nice to see that it's still standing. I have a bit of a confession to make, baby girl. Mm -hmm. For some reason, every time that we drive through Mississippi, I kind of just can't wait to get through it because it's either hot or it's Sticky. too humid or <laughs> there's just, it's, it's like forest and swamps everywhere. But the past couple of days, we've been spending a lot more time here. Mm -hmm. I actually like it. And I wish we had more time to explore, like it's very finding, beautiful. right? Like finding places like this cemetery. Mm -hmm. I'm sure at some point we'll be back. Until then, Thank you for joining us on another grim adventure, this time visiting Natchez, Mississippi. Till next time, happy Halloween. Wherever I come, I've had luck. It's coming my way. Wherever I go, hard luck. His daddy stays. Good luck never stays a day. A bad luck's always coming my way.